In this episode, we're going to be looking at installing Docker on Windows 10 Pro. Now, you should know up front that Docker for Windows, the new release, the more recent releases of it, requires Windows 10 Pro for some of the technologies that it has built into it. If you are still using Windows 8 or Windows 7, well, unfortunately, you're going to have to use the Docker Toolbox, which you can find by clicking on the Get Started with Docker link here on the front of the, get, of the Docker.com page. However, we're using Windows 10 Pro in this case, so we're not going to be using the Docker Toolbox. We're going to be using the Windows 10 Docker for Windows. It's phenomenal. It's also really easy to install, but unfortunately, like the Docker for Mac, it's not really easy to find from the Docker homepage. So I'm going to head to Google.com, and I'm going to do a search for Docker for Windows. And the first link that comes up is going to get me to where I really need to be. Nice and easy. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and go to the Docker for Windows downloads. Now there is a stable channel and a beta channel. And if you want to keep up with all the latest and greatest releases and features, go for the, the beta channel by all means. But I personally prefer the stable channel. It's the official release where there's going to be far fewer bugs. It's generally going to work better and be easier to deal with, not having to deal with unsupported technologies and features and things like that from the beta channel. So I'm going to grab the Docker for Windows stable channel. I'll hit save on that. Shouldn't take terribly long to download. It's, you know, 100 megs or so, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and hit run. And we're going to walk through the installation real quick. Now, here in a moment, you're going to see why we need Windows 10 Pro and not the Home Edition. Because once I get through some of the basic installation, it's going to ask me to enable Hypervisor. Now, Hypervisor, if you're not familiar with it, is the Windows Virtualization Management System. And it allows a lot of things to happen, including the use of Docker natively inside of Windows. So I've done this. I'm going to leave Launch Docker checked. I'll click Finish. And it shows up down in my icons here. You can see Docker is starting. Now here we see Hyper-V is required to run. Do you want to enable? Yes, I'm going to go ahead and enable and restart Hyper-V. So now I am fortunately using a virtual machine. So this machine, as I'm recording, is going to restart itself, going to install a few updates from Windows that it downloaded in the background. But more importantly, it enabled Hyper-V. So while Hyper-V is being turned on and all of these installations are getting up to date, we're just going to fast forward through the magic of editing and get back to it. And we're back up and running after a couple of reboots. Now I can go ahead and run a command prompt here. And when I run docker-v, I should see that I have docker version 1.12 installed. Now you may have a different version, of course, depending on what the release is and everything. But at this point, you're pretty much good to go. You've got docker enabled on Windows 10. So in the next video, stick around and we'll look at running some basic images with Docker. <laughs> 